Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this new video series about care plan help. Now, most of you in nursing school are going to have to write care plans or concept maps or case studies about the patients that you encounter in clinical. And these can be sometimes very time consuming and tedious, but I want you to think about considering this as a very good learning opportunity in order to be able to connect the theoretical knowledge that you already know from lecture to the patient that you encounter in clinical. And that's exactly what your professors want to see. Now this Care Plan Help series will specifically focus on the lab results that you're going to encounter in clinical and how you can relate that to the specific patient care scenario. Now certain lab tests always assess a certain thing. So for example, um, white blood cell count assesses for inflammation and infection. So the things that we assess for, for a white blood cell count are always going to be the same. We're going to check their temperature and their vital signs and so forth. And you can see my other videos where I go into more details about that. So what we check is always the same, but then you just need to be able to apply it to the specific patient that's in front of you and make it personalized and individualized so that your professor knows that you are able to apply that knowledge and tie it all together. And this care plan series help, help with care plan series will hopefully help you accomplish just that. So check in the next few weeks for the new videos coming out where I analyze each single um, lab result, the most common lab results, and kind of help guide you through analyzing the care plan and the patient uh, lab values and relate those to nursing considerations. So stay tuned for those videos coming up and I hope you enjoy it. Please give me a thumbs up if you like those videos and I'll see you soon right here on Nursing School Explained.